Job 42.12. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than, the be more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 uh, she-asses. He also had seven sons and three daughters. And he called the name of the first Jem. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Uh, Jim, Jim, no? There you go. And the second one, and the second, Kiza. And the third, uh, Karen, oh. um, Karen Hapuk. Hapuk? Yeah. And in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. And this lived Job a hundred and forty years, and saw his sons and his sons' sons even four generations. Um, it's Job is a good reminder to be faithful in Christian life, because you just never know at the time, though you have a hard a hardship. If you stay faithful in the Lord, He could reward you later on. Uh, but I would like to focus more on rewards that we'll get in heaven, specifically five crowns. Uh, the first crown I'm going to talk about is the crown of righteousness in Second Timothy 4. Uh, four seven. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is a there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous Judge, shall give me at the day, and to me only, but not oh, and not to me only, but to all them also that love is appearing. Uh, This is a uh, this is a perfect reason that we should keep the faith, knowing that we have a crown of righteousness if we just continue and stay strong, believing in God and trusting in His Word, we will get a crown of righteousness. Uh, the second crown is Revelation 2, 8 through 10, uh, a crown of life. <coughs> No, it's no. verse 10. Oh, verse 10? Mm -hmm. Verse 10. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Thou be faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Um, Then there's the crown of rejoicing in First Thessalonians two. is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing are ye not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming 
uh, and then you have a crown of glory in First Peter five. Uh, verse 4, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Uh, and then you have... First Peter what? What was that one? 5-4. 5-4. Uh, then verse... First Corinthians 9... Verse 25, And every man that striveth for mastery is tempered in all things. Uh, now they do do it to obtain a corruptible, a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight. I not as one that, I not as one that beneath the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Uh, I mention all these because in 1 Corinthians 3, uh, First Corinthians three thirteen, it talks of, and the Bible says, and every man's work shall be made manifest, for today shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work, of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved. Yet as so by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Um, so, Eventually, all of our works are going to be made manifest, and it's either going to turn uh, into a reward for us, which could be one of these crowns, or it's going to burn, but uh, you will still be saved. That's all I have. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions for Devin about crowns? Which one's the shiniest one? It's going to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't need it. Okay. okay. Um, very good. Thank you very, very much. Uh, a couple of, uh, couple of things, of course, the, the conclusion of everything that he taught would be, one, it's worth it to live for Jesus Christ. And it's worth it, as he began in the beginning, and we saw in Job, it's worth it to live for Jesus in this life. You know, I think a lot of times uh, even believers are filled with ingratitude for the goodness, the good things that we enjoy in life. And you look at Job, and you look at the circumstances that he went through, and when he uh, when he was going through suffering, he said, "Naked came I into my uh, naked I came I from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither." And we don't have 
anything that we've done that deserves for us to have a good life, and yet God is very good. And it's, very, it's a wonderful truth that we have an eternal reward in heaven that's going to last forever. It's a treasure that can't be taken from us, a treasure uh, that doesn't fade away. And so thank you very much, Devin, for that. I haven't done this in quite a while, and I think it's, uh, this is sort of what the plan was this morning because I knew Devin would be quick. If anyone gets here after a quarter after this morning, they missed it. So good job, Devin, um, and uh, being finished up. That's the first time he's ever done that before. And so it takes a lot of courage if you've ever had to stand up in front of someone and try to teach people. It takes a lot of courage to do that, so I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and open up, though, uh, for off-topic discussion. I've been wanting for quite a little while to take time in Sunday school and actually uh, survey, um, ask questions for my benefit, and then answer questions for your benefit. The questions I'd like to ask for my benefit would be regarding future Sunday school series that we teach. And sometimes, you know, I feel a disconnect uh, with people as far as what <clears throat> someone has questions on and would like to learn. You know, sometimes you think that people know things and they don't. And so, uh, first of all, if you have any questions, you say, Pal Pastor, you taught this a while back, or I heard this, and you got a question about something, feel free to ask. And then secondly, if there's a topic that you'd like to see covered in Sunday school. Um, so, uh, Nathan. I think it'd be really interesting to um, <clears throat> hear uh, concerning concerning